here at JA World Uncorked, and I'm going to just ask Mitch. Mitch, tell us about why you're with JA, and tell us about what you think about tonight. Well, I've been on the board for four years, and uh, I've just had a great time coming to all events. This is the first time I've been able to make it on court, so I'm looking forward to it. And Matt, you came along with Mitch tonight. Have you ever even been here before? It's a great cause, a great evening, and looking forward to seeing everything tonight. Well, one thing about JA World Uncorked everyone loves is there's no program, there's no tables, People can't find each other after a while, and it's just roam about the building, so we're going to have a great time. So are you ready? Let's, Let's go. go. Premier is very excited to be the title sponsor for the first year for JA Uncorked. Um, we are tasting many wines from all over the world. We have about 18 to 20 wine tables. We also have a Jack Daniels bar, a Herder, a tequila bar. There's a Woodford Reserve mixology bar. Um, Corbell is also a big sponsor, tasting some sparkling wines. So it's going to be a great night. Uh, this wonderful event. I mean, what's bad about it? Food, wine, and for what a great cause. We here at Local 10 are happy to be part of JA World and so excited to be with all these people out here tonight to have fun, to eat some food, to drink some wine, and contribute to an absolutely amazing cause inspiring our youth. Um, do I have anything in my teeth? I hope I don't. <laughs> so enjoy the night and I'm glad to be here. We're here with two friends that we brought this year. We've been here now three years in a row. We love this JA world. We love supporting it. It's an awesome night. They're having a great experience for their first time, and we're not surprised. We have an awesome whole grain bowl here tonight. It's a brown rice, quinoa, uh, feta cheese, coconut oil, dulse flakes, sesame seeds, carrots, cabbage, scallions. Mwah, 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 all for you. <laughs> I'm serving a uh, ahi uh, tuna, Hawaiian style ahi tuna poke stack wrap, lettuce wrap, um, from Bash American Bistro and Sunrise. Today we're doing a smoked pork loin with uh, roasted squash puree and a quince chutney. Uh, we are actually located at the Ritz-Cons Fort Lauderdale, a restaurant's Via Luna. Tonight we're actually re uh, representing our restaurant here at JA Awards, an uncorked event, amazing event. And tonight we're actually serving a Florida corn bisque, corn relish, crispy prosciutto, and homemade ricotta cheese. Uh, 3030 Ocean Restaurant is a modern American seafood restaurant. We're located inside of the Harbor Beach Marriott in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, tonight we're serving an olive oil poached wahoo with pickled tomatoes, um, a salad of fresh herbs, and garlic breadcrumbs. Yeah, so, so I had, did a little bit of a um, TV uh, show, small show called Hell's Kitchen, um, season five. I was runner-up on season five uh, with, um, with with Gordon Ramsay and, and all that uh, a few years back. And uh, it was a great experience, and, and I'm still around here in Fort Lauderdale, so look forward to seeing you guys at 3030 Ocean. Funky Buddha Brewery is a full-scale production brewery in Oakland Park. It's our Southwest's largest craft brewery uh, and Broward County's first brewery. Uh, we've been open for about seven months and uh, we're in about 400 bars and restaurants with our beers on draft, including our Hop Gun IPA uh, and Floridian Hefeweizen. We uh, had a little dessert competition uh, between the artists and students. Uh, we were the three contestants finalists, Miss uh, Emily, uh, Miss Anna and I, um, we all created three different desserts. Um, Miss Anna created a um, flan with pecans and strawberries. Miss Emily created a nicely decadent chocolate cake with uh, twill cookies and uh, strawberries as well. And I created a poached Asian spares with coconut lemon macarons. For our winner, Miss Emily was our winner. It's an amazing, fun evening to get out and see different people and uh, offer a great cause, the Junior Achievement, um, helping to, you know, the youth of South Florida um, get a better idea of financial literacy and uh, a work ethic, if you will. That's great all together. Really good. Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory is based out of Colorado. They send in candy to us and we have a co-branded store with Cold Stone Creamery in Coconut Creek in the Promenade. We can do catering. We have the caramel apples that we make on site in the store and we can also do beautiful gift baskets for holidays. 
It's amazing. This is the greatest event I've ever been to. And you know what the best part? It serves the children in elementary school and middle school. It's education. And what more can you ask for? We have organic strawberries and bananas from our farm. And then we threw a little bit of honey from our beehive that we have there. And then we also put a little bit of tangerine juice that we have also on the farm. We're so happy to be back at the JA World Uncorked event. It's our third year coming, and I'm so proud that my husband Peter is on the board here and that we can be here to have fun and learn a little bit more about JA World and to be with our friends and have a great time. This is a favorite event, and we love coming every year. JA is a great place. Every Broward County student in fifth grade and eighth grade comes to learn about the free enterprise system. And we love having people like Tom here to help support the cause. My, my daughter, fifth grade, has been here, and she's eighth grader now. She's scheduled for first week of June. So. I'm from Hot and Soul. We're serving a smoked paprika seared yellowfin tuna with beluga lentils, pickled green onions, romesco sauce, and salsa verde. And we're located on the corner of Oakland Park Boulevard and Federal Highway. Well, I'm here. I'm known locally as the Burger Beats. I write about food in South Florida, and we're having an event uh, next week in uh, Esplanade Park in downtown Fort Lauderdale. It's going to be the fifth annual Burger Awards. We're going to have the 25 best food trucks in South Florida. We're going to have live art, live music, some DJ sets. It's going to be a great family event for everyone to come out to. Tonight, we're serving one of our signature dishes. It's colossal coconut shrimp in a bang, bang bang shrimp, excuse me, so it's got a little kick to it with a aged rum infused bang bang sauce. Hip Hop's handcrafted gelato bars. Uh, we are, uh, we handcraft uh, gelato sorbet and frozen yogurt in small batches every day on a stick using all natural, high quality ingredients. And then you can customize our bars with different dips and toppings. And we sell it off a really, really cool food truck. Daily Meal just named us number eight dessert truck in the country. Red Velvet Cake Pops, assorted cookies, chocolate covered strawberries, chocolate cheesecake lollipop, key lime cheesecake lollipop, and mocha almond cheesecake lollipop. Hey, we're at JA World tonight, having a great time eating, drinking, and uh, benefiting the JA World, which does a super job of, of getting fifth graders and eighth graders to learn about the civic responsibilities in our community. It's a great time, you ought to be here. All right, we're uh, Shake Shack, we're up here from Coral Gables and 1450 South Dixie Highway. Uh, we're serving up our Shack Burger, our signature burger. It's uh, all natural beef patty with American cheese, lettuce, tomato, and our house-made Shack sauce. Uh, we also have here our uh, Shack Meister L from Brooklyn Brewery, made just for Shake Shack that complements the Shack Burger extremely well. As you can see, <laughs> thank you. This is one of the best hamburgers I've ever had, truly. And you can see by my friend, he has many of them. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> So what you have here, you have a mahi mango habanero sausage. Uh, we serve it on a Martin's potato roll with mango mustard and a green papaya slaw. There's nothing like it. Uh, it uh, no fillers, no nitrates, no preservatives, all natural, whole filet mahi. Okay, Love and Olive is a tasting room that opened up at the promenade at Coconut Creek. We carry a variety of olive oils, flavored infused, extra virgin oils, specialty oils, and balsamic vinegars, wine vinegars, dark and white. Um, we're a tasting room, so you come into the store, you taste whatever it is um, that you're interested in, we can pair it for you with a balsamic, with an oil, um, and then uh, we pour it for you fresh, right there out of a Fusti. Well, I'm on the board for JA, and I gotta tell you, it's actually my most fun board experience I think I've ever had. Uh, it, it combines an unbelievable like set of professionalism with with really great things that we're doing for the community, uh, bringing up kids through you know fifth and eighth grade and helping them learn about you know finance and learning about things that you know their parents have to experience on a daily basis. So. It's rewarding and really a great, you know, great, great charity. So hopefully more people will come out and support it. 
Well, this is our fourth year here. We love this event. We're from Brio Restaurant. We have locations in the Gulfstream Park, Pembroke Pines, Boca, and the Falls. We're featuring our Barbarioso over here, which is our happy hour, which features appetizers from four, five, and six dollars, uh, five dollar cocktails and martinis. And come on down, check us out at Brio. We're having an incredible time tonight. This is my first time I've been here. I will definitely be back every single year. It's phenomenal. I think everyone on the committee did a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Uh, we're actually serving a scallop with a parsnip puree, a little pistachio dust and uh, parsnip puree. But this is Mark Gruverman from Capitol Grill, and he'd love to, to come in here and tell us a little bit about his West, dish as well. Wes Bonner, Publix, all they do for Jay, it's, it's amazing, the support that he gives to the community. And Ma Mark as well, they do a great bisque. Um, you'll have to come back and get some another time, though. Thank you very much. You know, JA is off the chart, and this event is so wonderful. Uh, United Way has been a longtime supporter of, of JA, and we support their mission and the kids and the prosperity and all that they do, and we just think they do an outstanding jo job. And Melissa Aiello, you are the top-notch CEO girl, and we love you so much. Congratulations on a great event. Uh, tonight we're doing a Jack Daniels bread pudding with a Jack Daniels glaze, all based out of the cookbook, whole heap of goodness. So it's all good Southern comfort food. I'm the guy behind the counter, so that's me, that's my cookbook, it's my recipe. So all about Jack Daniels tonight for being such a great supporter of Junior Achievement. So that's what we're going to keep on helping and pushing. It's really good. You have to try it. It's really good. Uh, Pincho Factory, we're a fast casual counter service uh, gastropub. We're based out of Miami. We have two locations, one in Coral Gables and one in Westchester. And tonight we're serving our miniature chicken pita wraps. So it's a chicken with an Israeli salad, a cilantro mayo on a grilled pita. It's fabulous. It's, we're having a great time. The hospitality is superb. Everybody's great. Very nice evening. My name is Ebony and I'm from Voodoo Barbecue. We are located on Cypress and Agiles. We also have one in Hollywood, open in two weeks. One in Pembroke Pines and one in Kendall. We smoke all our meats and we make everything from scratch. We have brisket, turkey, pork, chicken, and sausage. Chapano is located at 450 East Las Olas Boulevard. It's been around 15 years. It's a great location right on Las Olas. And tonight we're serving tuna tartare and our signature meatballs. Everybody should come in and check out Tempano. So we're here at the VIP in uh, JA World Unforked. And we have pomegranate margarita pops, mojito pops, and a virgin strawberry pink lemonade pop. And we're just enjoying the night. Everything is great. The music is awesome. Pops are wonderful and just having a great time. And our featured dish tonight is a white chocolate bread pudding with a bacon bourbon pecan glaze. It's delicious. And we are from La Hermitage Catering in Fort Lauderdale. So Stash is an exciting new venue that just opened up in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Stash is about bringing back the refinement of a 1920s prohibition speakeasy bar, but bringing in a way more accessible format. We have this amazing room. We have burlesque dancers like Erica here to my left. We have amazing cocktails created by world famous mixologist Sean Lemaire. And we just have the best bands and DJs around. We're open late from 8 p.m. every night. And we recently got voted Broward's top spot to be for cocktails. We look forward to seeing you soon.